Hi, so in today's video, we're gonna do a little bit of a departure from our normal video um, because we're gonna start a new video in a series called Food Hacker. And it's about simple tips and tricks to live a more sustainable life with food, okay? And part of the reason we wanna do that is because the less we have to rely on corporations to give us our sustenance, the more we take control of our own lives, and the more resilient we become also in uncertain times. So in this first video, we're gonna talk about coffee, but more specifically, cold brew coffee. And I know some people are thinking like, I don't, I don't like cold brew, right? I understand that. But um, what people are not really getting, and you don't see it a lot online, people aren't talking about it, but you can easily heat cold brew coffee in a microwave and I have a hot cup of delicious coffee that's smoother, less acidic, and naturally sweeter than your average cup of coffee. Technically, yeah, you can get a French press, put coffee in there, cold water, wait 18 hours, press it, pour it, you can do that. But it's gonna be very muddy and silty. It's not gonna have that clear color, you know, look, which you kinda need tools to get that look, right? And that's, that's your biggest investment in this project, right? Is, is that tool, right? So there's two major tools on the market that are very popular. One is the toddy, the toddy coffee system. And this is also the original kind of cold brewer. This is like the first on the market. And then another one that's very popular is the OXO, OXO. I don't know, are they OXO? I don't know. But they make one too, right? And these are about the same price. They're about $40, right? More or less. And this one is technically supposed to be easier, but this one's pretty easy too. I, I don't think it's that much harder. Um, and this is my preference. Some people like this because it, it is a little easier, right? But it doesn't hold as much coffee. It makes, they say it's supposed to have 10 ounces of coffee at once to brew at max, whereas this can take a pound at once. And I, you know, I want to do it less, so I, I like to make a pound if I can, right? Next step, you want to go to your local coffee shop and get a bag of coffee. So, you know, have them, you know, get the whole beans and have them grind it really coarse or for cold brew. Tell them, like, I need it coarse, I need it for cold brew. And understand that most of the coffee that you get, the bags from like nice coffee shops, they're 12 ounces. They're not a pound. They're rarely a pound. A pound is 16 ounces. Most of these bags are 12 ounces. So you're going to have four ounces less than a pound. Just keep that in mind in case you want to fill the toddy up. So, the toddy system, it comes with this, you know, upper piece, a cork, and these felt filters that fit right in there. But I stopped using the felt one a long time ago because I found these silver ones that are designed for this. It's a, from a third party. But these work almost as well, and, you, and they're easier to clean, reuse again and again and again. You never have to buy another one. This is the same one I've had for years. This is the OXO one. It's kind of similar. It's got its own filter inside, metal as well. Um, and then the idea is that it's sealed, but to release the coffee, you press down on this lever and it should release on the stand, okay? So what I didn't know and what's not really in the instructions that to lift it back up, you know, you have to press a release in the back. There's a button release to do that quick release so go to the back press the quick release that's not really in the instructions I found there was no instructions about how to release this so I had to figure that out you know so they should add that to the instructions but that's that right so the technique the thing about the technique is yeah you can pour the coffee in the water right and some manuals say mix it up don't do that what you want to do is create layers of coffee and water gently, gentle layers. Cause then when it drains, the water will be kind of separate from the coffee. And as it drains, it will just kind of drop. The layers will drop onto each other and the liquid will all drain out more, way quicker if you do this technique. The toddy instructions have that technique written in, into the instructions, whereas the OXO doesn't. Um, but I recommend it for both of these devices. It's definitely, which that's kind of like the secret of cold brew is the technique. All right, so let's prep both of these. I'm gonna prep them both. Have them here. All right, so for the toddy, add the cork to the bottom. This is all coffee bits, it's not dirt. Okay, and the OXO, you don't have to do anything, just make sure it's tight enough. 
Now to start, pour in water first. So in the toddy, you put water in and then you put the filter in because you want water to be underneath the filter as well. I think if you do it after, it's still okay, but that's just a recommendation. Then you want to pour an amount of water, not all the way, just like a little bit of a shallow puddle. Same thing with the OXO. Okay, cough there. Once you have your water, then you're gonna put half of the coffee, about half of the coffee on top of this, kind of gently. Spread that out on top, but don't, don't mix it. Just let it float on top. Same thing here, put about half and let them float. Then you're gonna take the water and slowly pour it in a circular fashion over it, but not so fast that it starts mixing, just so that it kinda, kinda pours slowly over the top to kinda saturate it. Move it around. And you do this kind of up to the, near the halfway point. Doesn't have to be fully saturated, but just kind of get get all around there. Okay, same thing here. Just pour it gently. A circle of pattern. Sometimes I'll just pour it slow and spin the container. It's a little easier than moving it, the water. middle, just kind of want to get around the top. What's cool is this is clear, so you can kind of see what's happening, whereas this you can't really. Pour in that little amount, then put the other half of the coffee on top. So this is just creating the layers, this. Oh. And now you wait five minutes. As you wait five minutes, the water is going to slowly creep up and catch the coffee that's in there. And then we're gonna finish off the water in five minutes. Okay, so five minutes have elapsed and because this has 10 ounces and the max is 10, I'm gonna fill the water up near the top. This one, because the max is a pound and I only have 10, I'm not gonna go that high. I'm gonna go way less than that for this toddy. So pour water slowly around the top. And then you're gonna notice though, when you do the second time, like a bunch of gas is gonna be released from the coffee, and that's normal. So freshly ground coffee tends to have a lot of gas trapped inside of it that's released after grinding, and that gas will come out in the second pour. Okay, so that's that one. So this doesn't come with a lid, so I just use a lid from a pot, set it aside. For the OXO, the OXO comes with a special lid with holes. It's called the Rainmaker, and it's designed so that the water will stream down. So I'm gonna use it, but um, you don't have to use it. But it's there, so I mean, why not? I'm just gonna pour this. So in theory, it should drip the coffee nice and steady on the surface. I'm gonna actually, Take this off. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna do it by hand. I'm doing it gently. So you don't want it to stir too much. Okay. Then I'm gonna stick it on top of this holder. I'll put a piece of foil. Especially if you're living in New York, because you probably got bugs. You want bugs, because they'll be attracted to all the gases that are coming out of this. So now that's finished, we're gonna let it sit and wait for from anywhere from 12 to 24 hours to get the proper extraction. I recommend 18 hours, I think that's a sweet spot. But you know, if you wanna keep it simple, you can say 24 hours, because then you just come back the next day, same time, drain them, right? And 12 hours is enough to get the results. So if you don't have a lot of time, 12 hours can do it too. So 
we'll wait 18 hours and show you the draining and the results. All right, welcome back. This is day two. Um, 18, 20 hours have passed roughly, and we are ready to extract these, okay? So I'll start with the harder one, because, you know, this is supposed to be harder. Here's the toddy, cork, and I lost the original carafe, but I'm using one of these ball jars with the wide rim, because it actually, it's a little more stable than the carafe that it comes with, and it fits perfectly to the bottom. So I'm gonna remove this lid. Now, just gonna carefully hold it over, grab the cork, and you just wedge it out, right? And it's a little messy, it's always a little messy, but that's the thing about the toddy, but um, it's still great tool. So I'm gonna wedge it, all right, and then just lay it right on top and let it drain. And then with this device, the OXO, this is the carafe it came with. And the, the, their carafe fits underneath, but you know, if this breaks too, because eventually this will probably break, you can get another thing. It's kind of nice, it fits pretty nice, okay? And then, release. All right. So it's going, and as you can tell, they're going about the same rate. And um, this, is gonna, this could take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes to fully complete. So this is not totally done draining, but it's only been actually like five minutes and this OXO device is working much better than I expected, to be honest. Um, but because it has a quick release and I can stop it, I'm going to stop it temporarily just to drink some coffee. Okay. Quick release, I'm gonna get some water. So I'm gonna always put more water than coffee. And in this one, I just, I put it kind of up to here and I'll add coffee like up to here. Okay, that looks good. Like make sure it's dark enough for you. All right, so I'm gonna microwave this. So we pour the coffee, the water, the concentrate, stick in the microwave. I like to do two minutes. You can do 90 seconds, it's up to you. All right. Yeah, so we've noticed that after you microwave it, it tends to get darker even. I'm not sure if it's like, I'm not sure why, but um, and now you have a hot cup of coffee and it's perfect. It's It's so smooth, so sweet. Doesn't need any sugar, any milk. Um, yeah, and if you thought you needed sugar and milk, try this and, and that might change your opinion on the matter. But um, that's basically it. So hopefully you might get started on this. It's a little side project, especially in this time while everyone's like, you know, cooped up. It's kind of fun and relatively foolproof. So I think it's worth a shot, give it a shot and hopefully this will simplify your mornings. Yeah, it's a good cup.